right along to number six on my list. Numero seis. Number six on my list is this Munchkin Nursery Projector. And you guys, if you don't know about this thing, this is a game changer right here. I've had this since he was born and I still use it. So let me tell you about it real quick. So it has a night light and it also has music. It comes with these sounds that you can basically change up depending on, you know, what you want the baby to listen to. So it has heartbeat sounds, it has a ocean sound, it has white noise, it has rain, it has the rockabye rhythm or the rockabye tune, twinkle twinkle little star, all these different sounds, right? Then it also has the night light. But then what I really, really love about this is the voice activation. So basically, as soon as your baby is crying in the middle of the night, it automatically turns on. Like you don't even have to get up to turn it on. As soon as it senses that your baby is crying, it automatically turns on for you. Like that's, that's dope. Um, it, ha it also has a sleep timer. So if you want to um, time it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or if you just want to completely turn it off, perfect. Um, and then it also has the projector. So when they're first born, they're really just sleeping on their back. So they're always just facing the ceiling. So I would project the images onto the ceiling. And if he would wake up or if he's up and he's trying to go to sleep, he would be looking at these really soothing images. It provides the best sleeping environment, not only for you, but for your baby. So I've had it since he was born. I still use it till this day. And it's one of those things that until it breaks, I don't think I'm gonna stop using it. <laughs> that one is like the ocean waves. Heartbeat. And then you could just turn it off if you don't want to hear anything, but you have different lullabies. This is the one we actually really like. But it does have different ones. You can adjust the volume. Um then it has the projector, but I can't really show you. Yeah. Back here is where you base, because it comes with three different images, like I said. So you just take the image out that you want. This one is like the ocean one, so you just stick it in. And there it goes. And then it'll project either to the ceiling or onto the wall, however you want to tilt it. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is by Munchkin. Um, and I wanted to show you something else by that company, by Munchkin, that I really, really love. Something else by Munchkin that I really, really love is next on the list. This is my favorite for bath time. Game changer. Um, one of my coworkers, teacher friends, she recommended this um, because she uses it with her toddler. And it's these alphabet and numbers. I have them in a Ziploc bag just because they're just easy to store like this. But these are the alphabet. Uh, the Bath Alphabet Letters and Numbers by Munchkin. Now, it comes with 26 letters and 10 numbers, and they all float. But what I really, really love is that they also stick to the tub when they're wet. So you can use them for so many things, for colors, for identifying letters, for identifying numbers, for building simple CVC words, simple words like cat dog things like that spelling your child's name so getting them to identify each letter in those name in the names and how to spell their names it's just the opportunities are endless you guys like there's really no wrong environment for a child to learn so in the tub while we're bathing i'm singing him songs i'm naming letters i'm asking him to find me letters to find me sounds because my son also knows his letter sounds it's crazy he's not even two yet and he knows his letters and his sounds he knows his numbers from zero to ten he knows how to count like <laughs> and I'm telling you some of these things are just easy things that we can do with them even in the shower in the bath while they're taking a bath so they're soft they're durable 
if they put it in their mouth, which some of these have teeth marks because, you know, teething baby. Um, so this one has teeth marks all over. But um, they're non-toxic, so if they put it in their mouth and, you know, inevitably start biting on them, it's safe. Um, and they're super durable. And I'm taking a bath. Pull out these letters. They were only like $4 from Walmart. You guys are going to love this stuff, for real. Next on my list of faves is my eighth item, numero ocho. Eight. My son loves these. They are the Grippies Builders, and they are awesome for STEM, you guys. Oh, science, technology, engineering, math. Now, I am a teacher, so I am going to pull out all of the, you know, the teaching cards on you guys because it's never too early to expose children to things that they're going to be learning in school. So it comes with 20 pieces inside and they're very tactile and they build with it. They're magnetic. You can practice colors. You can practice shapes. So let me just show you. So I'll build this with my son. I'll sit there with him. <laughs> And it's a lot harder to do it this way, but I'm going to really try. Okay, so I'll say, Giannis, what shape is this? And he'll tell me triangle. Giannis, how many corners does a triangle have? Let's count the balls. And he'll count the balls. One, two, three. Like that's skills that he's going to learn in kindergarten and in first grade when he starts learning about corners and sides and basic shapes but not only does he learn about just regular shapes he can also learn um 3d shapes so i'm not going to go ahead and build them right now but let me just show you right here you can also make the solid shapes the pyramids the rectangular prisms and all that so it's you guys it's awesome and they have so much fun counting and telling you the colors and oh my god it's just it's everything so i'll say giannis let's make a square and so i'll try and go ahead and kind of model for him what a square is now he knows what a square is but in the beginning he wouldn't know what a square is so i'll build mine and then i'm like come on let's build yours and so he'll start building his and you know occasionally i'll have to help and stuff like that but for the most part they do this all on their own. And so I'll be like, look, Bobby, we made a square. How many sides does a square have? And I'll make sure that the sides are these long ones, not like, I don't know if you guys saw in the, in the triangle that I just built for you guys. I kind of mixed and match. But when I'm talking about sides, <laughs> but you guys got the point. When I'm talking about sides, it forces him to actually look at the lines. Okay, those are sides and these are the corners. So you guys, STEM, STEM practice. And then he also likes to, you know, have his own little play time. And, and that's okay too because it's good for them to explore. But he'll just like start building like these high towers. And he'll try and keep building and building. But I love that these are magnetic. I love that they're just so easy to manipulate. Now, it also teaches them about attracting forces right and then it'll teach them about opposing forces so these won't stick it's pretty cool I'm telling you guys you guys are gonna love this so he loves to tell me the colors the tactiles the, the patterns are different on here it's fun it's safe they're building they're learning about stem and math and geometry it's awesome. Moving on to number nine on my list. Number nine is the Seekaboo game. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys already know. You guys have seen me use these cards with my son. Like, if I'm sleeping, he'll wake me up with this in my face. If I'm trying to go to sleep, he'll want to play cards. He'll just say cards, cards, cards. And it's because these cards are so fun. We played so many different ways. He's been using this for a couple months. So now he's about to be two. But we've been using it since he was a couple months old. Like maybe, I'll say, 17, 18 months. So 
they're big they're laminated so it makes them durable they're easy to see so each of them are coated with a different border so if it has a blue border it's a food and a drink if it has a green border it's just an everyday item um, like a toy if it's yellow it's shapes if it's purple it's an outside item if it's red it's an animal so it's awesome you guys like sometimes I don't want to overstimulate him so I'll just put down all the animals and we'll learn the animals I'll say Giannis because it'll come with these um, find me cards which are smaller and they're the same you know they're the same images that the big ones have but just in a smaller in a, in a smaller card so you know as the parent you hold this as the adult you hold this and um, if I'm just going to do the red cards, the animals, then I'll just only pick those cards out. And then I'll say, Giannis, what is this? And he'll tell me horse because now he knows he knows what they are. I'm telling you, this boy is so smart because he, he's one of those kids that really just loves to learn. So you can't force it on them sometimes. Sometimes they just really love to learn. But he'll say horse. And I said, okay, go find me the horse. And I'll have all of the, the big cars all over the car bale, all over the floor. And he'll, you know, he'll go and he'll find the horse and bring it to me. And I'll say, good job, baby. And when he finds it, I'm like, you found the horse. So, you know, the repetition and him seeing it here and having to go find it and match it. It's awesome. So you can do it that way. You know, just a few at a time, starting with the colors or the categories, or you can do a few at a time. Um, as he gets older, I'm just going to switch up the games. Um, you can also have multiple players play this game. So it's for different levels, different ages. I mean, you can do so many different things with this. And all this while they're practicing their animals, while they're practicing identifying their colors and their shapes and all kinds of stuff like he knows all of these he knows all of these he knows what um bike is his favorite one to say is <laughs> broccoli and it's so cute he'll say it's so so cute um i'm looking for another oh gosh the shapes right now shapes are his thing so he knows all his shapes cookies so sometimes <laughs> if i see this one I'm like, Papi, it's the one that you love to eat. Yummy, yummy cookies. And he'll go and run. And then after that, he'll actually run to the pantry and he'll want a cookie. But I'm telling you guys, if you don't know about Seek Abu, it's perfect. And it's one of those games that you can use, like I said, from when they're little, like 18 months, to when they're older. And it's one of those um, games that really allows for you to just work on your kid with so many different things but also just it's 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 a fun bonding experience with your child so this one is definitely one of my it's that's why it made it to my top 10 because it's definitely a fave and then on to number 10 this one i can't really show you guys right now so i'm gonna insert a clip of it but it is the VTech Touch and Learn Activity Desk. And this one I was actually gifted for my baby shower. It's so awesome because it's a desk, but it also transforms into an easel. But on the desk, it's like a learning station. So it'll have like the ABCs. It'll have um, these mats that you can change. Um, change in and out so this one is like a math mat where he'll learn his numbers and counting on the flip side is fruits and colors so you can switch them out and it's interactive so you put this on the desk you slide it in there on the desk and every time he touches something it'll literally be an activity it'll say it'll identify it for him or just tell him find me the red fruit or you know just different kinds of activities this one is for music so it has different instruments different kinds of rhythms and beats he loves this one because my baby's a dancer <laughs> and then this one has the human body so i really like this one sometimes he'll you know he'll um do head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes and then he'll really like to like just go find different body parts um that he doesn't know or sometimes he'll just keep doing the ones he knows head head 
head, head, head. Um, the easel is super cool. So the desk, when you flip it up, turns into an easel. So it could be an easel because it has a little clip there where you could attach a paper for painting or for coloring. Or um, it also, because it's black, it has a black background, you can also do chalk with it. It's like now that he's like learning how to just pick up pencils and crayons and a paintbrush. Oh God, that's all he really wants to do. And I love it because I can incorporate so much while he's learning fine motor skills. And fine motor skills are just the ability of being able to do things, you know, with the smaller parts of your um, of your body, like your fingers. So being able to hold the crayon and being able to maneuver that crayon or that pencil. So um, it's definitely a product that will grow with him because... But those are it, you guys. Those are my top... 10 my current top 10 mommy faves i want to continue to make these kind of videos for you guys my mommy faves videos because honestly as he grows he's gonna have just different things that i'm gonna be using with him so i do want to continue to upload videos like this but if you have a specific one that you want to see drop it down in the comment below so that i can see it and so that i can start working on it so don't forget to like to share to comment to subscribe thank you so much for the support love you guys